Is it possible to eat well on a plant-based diet and enjoy it, while still sticking to a budget and saving on food costs? The answer is yes, if you use smart produce stretching hacks and know the right money-saving strategies to pick, buy, and prep whole plant-based foods. This will truly save you time, energy, and money with less food wastage. So let's talk about a common scenario today on this podcast, dealing with limp and perishing lettuce or other leafy greens. No one wants to put that in a salad. So what can you do? There are actually a few hacks you can use to revive that limp, lifeless lettuce, depending on how severe its condition is at the time of discovery and when you hope to eat it. In this episode, I'll show you how to save those lettuce leaves and your money so you can still enjoy them to nourish your body and health. Listen in! Welcome to the Plant-Based Eating Made Easy podcast. I'm your host, Anna Zin, plant-based registered dietitian and transition coach. Hi friend, do you want to regain your health with plant-based eating but feel overwhelmed and lost about how to do it? Do you feel it'll be hard to change your meat-heavy diet and impossible with working, running the home, or chasing after the grandkids? If so, you're in the right place. Here you'll find simple strategies, clear nutrition guidance, and practical tips to help you thrive plant-powered with more energy. So if you're ready to ditch the guesswork and transform your health the stress-free way, cozy up now with a hot cup of tea or listen while you walk and let me show you how doable plant-based eating can be. Let's do this. In this episode, I want to spotlight and thank a listener with Apple ID, Live Beautifully, for her five-star written review on Apple Podcasts submitted at the beginning of the year. She wrote, The Missing Puzzle Piece. Thank you, Anna, for this podcast. I cannot believe the wealth of knowledge you share as a free resource. I've recently transitioned into whole food plant-based eating, and with your tips, tricks, and hacks, it has been seamless and wonderful. Thank you, Live Beautifully. I was so encouraged to read your review and hear that the tips, tricks, and hacks you've learned from this podcast have helped you make a smooth transition into a whole food plant-based diet lifestyle. Changing lives one at a time is what keeps me going with this podcast. I hope you will continue to tune into this podcast and stay plant-powered in your health journey. I'm cheering you on. Friend, would you like to support this podcast so it can reach and help more people like live beautifully? If so, all you need to do is to take a quick moment to leave a rating and written review on Apple Podcasts. If you have an Apple device, find the Apple Podcasts app icon. It's a purple square with white circles. Open it then search for plant-based eating made easy. Then once there, scroll all the way down past the five-star symbols, then click on write a review. Leave a star rating, write your review, and then tap send. You can also leave a review if you have iTunes downloaded on your PC computer. I would love to hear how this podcast is making a difference in your life, and you may get your review spotlighted on an episode too, like this one. So take a moment now to pause this episode and leave a review, then listen on. Don't forget to click the plus follow button on the Apple Podcast page while you're at it, so you won't miss any future episodes published. Now on to lettuce. Tell me if this scenario is familiar. You're wanting to eat healthier and add more vegetables to your meals, so you've brought home more fresh produce, including a bunch of loose leaf lettuce. You then pop these into your fridge, hoping to make salads later in the week. But then the time comes to pull out those leafy greens to chop into a salad, and you're dismayed to find that part of it has already turned limp and wilted. So what do you do now? I don't know about you, but I really dislike limp, lifeless veggies, especially lettuce and other leafy greens. It just doesn't look appetizing or inviting to eat at all. And when it happens, I don't want to even try making a salad with those. My family thinks the same way. I know how frustrating this can all be. To buy back fresh and delicious looking produce, and then to find them wrinkly, wilted, or limp in the fridge a few days later. But I don't throw out the limp lettuce. 
As you know, I hate to waste money and waste food. So let me show you today how you can salvage those leaves instead of tossing half the bunch in the trash along with your money. I want to help you save money, reduce food waste, and get the most out of what you buy. Now obviously, we really want to prevent our fresh, leafy greens from getting to this sad, wilted state in the first place. So that means we'll need to use smart strategies to keep them looking crisp and fresh after it's bought, whether from the store or farmer's market, or after harvesting from your own garden. I'll share in another episode about how to store your leafy greens so you can prevent them from getting limp in the first place. But in this episode, let me give you some pro tips on how you can revive your limp leafy vegetables and get them usable again. The first thing you need to do is to assess the state of your bunch of leafy greens. If they are pretty wilted, then it will take a lot more time to revive them. But if they are only a little bit wilted, it should be pretty quick to get them looking perky again. The second thing you need to do is to ask yourself, how soon do I want to use them? This will then determine which method you use to freshen them up. Let's look at two scenarios now. The first is this. You've realized the situation quickly and the tops of the leafy greens are beginning to look wilted and there's one or two outer leaves that are really limp and wilted. You also don't need to use these greens for a salad until a few days later. In this case, here's what I would suggest to do. First, remove the outer one to two most wilted leaves and use them in your cooking, even if the recipe doesn't call for it. You could just wash and chop up those one to two leaves to add into a soup, stir fry, or even a smoothie. You won't notice much of a difference, but will still get a small added boost in nutrients and save money by using them up. Next, cut off about a quarter inch off the bottom of the lettuce stem, which would likely have become dried and brown by this point, and discard that thin stem portion. Finally, Place that bunch of lettuce or leafy greens standing up in a bowl of water. You'll want enough water so the stem will be submerged in it. Then place this bowl with the leafy greens either on your countertop, kitchen table, or near a window. You can change that water every one to two days as needed. I call this strategy the soak and rehydrate method. The benefits? Over the next few days, you should see the leaves rehydrate and begin to perk up. And you may also see some additional bonus lettuce growth as well. Now here's another possible scenario you may find yourself in. Half of your bunch of loose leaf lettuce or romaine lettuce seems wilted, but the inner leaves still look good. You also want to make a salad later that day, so in a few hours time. Here's what to do in this case. Use the water submerge method. First, take out all the wilted limp leaves but you can put the remaining portion with the good inner leaves back into the fridge. Next, wash those limp leaves well and then put them in a large bowl with room temperature water. Make sure that all the leaves are well submerged and that there is enough room for the leaves to expand as they freshen up. Then put this bowl aside and check back on them in 1-3 to three hours. The leaves should perk up on their own. Then you can take them out of the bowl and chop them up to use in your salad. Now two additional tips on using this method. Only use this method if you plan to use up those leafy greens that day, as the quality of the leaves may not be so great the next day. Next, if you would like a slightly shorter rehydration time, cut each large lettuce leaf into two to three smaller pieces before putting the pieces into the water. This will increase the amount of surface area in contact with the water and allow a faster rehydration time. So today we looked at some simple produce stretching hacks to help you salvage your limp lettuce and make them usable again. I've shared with you two specific strategies depending on the situation you find yourself in. This is to either use the soak and rehydrate method or to use the water submerge method. The key thing to remember is this. Leafy greens are like plants. They need moisture or it is easy for them to get dried up and limp in the fridge. Now here's an action step to take. The next time you find yourself taking out wilted leafy greens from your fridge, pick one of these strategies and give it a try. 
I hope it'll help you and you'll still get to enjoy those veggies. If you enjoyed today's episode and want more money saving and produce stretching hacks, check out the online Plant Power Life Transformation course. This one stop, six module online course gives you more produce stretching and money saving hacks, teaches you essential skills, and tasty, simple to make whole food plant based recipes to help you enjoy plant based eating and save money, time, and energy while doing it. Find out more details at plantnourish.com forward slash PPLT course or see the link in the show notes. Thank you for listening to the Plant Based Eating Made Easy podcast. If this podcast has helped you, please rate and leave a written review on the Apple Podcast app or iTunes to let me know. Nothing will lift me up more than to read your review and see how this podcast has made a difference in your life. I also pick reviews to read on this show, so your review could be one of them. Come connect with me in my free Facebook community group, Beginners for Plant-Based Diet Success. Just go to bit.ly forward slash pb diet success. That's B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash pb diet success. You can also subscribe and follow this podcast to get notified when a new episode goes live. Signing off now, this is Anna, and I wish you the best health always.